Destination Sailing Channel is sponsored by Seawater Pro. If you are buying a water maker, follow the link below and receive an additional set of filters with your purchase. If you speak with Mike at Seawater Pro, don't forget to mention Destination Sailing Channel. Hello and welcome to the Destination Sailing Channel. I'm Carla. And I'm Simon. And we are from the YouTube sailing channel Sailing Ocean Fox. Over the past three years we've sailed over 25,000 miles on our catamaran through the Mediterranean, across the Atlantic and the Caribbean. In this series we will be looking at some of our favourite islands, towns and remote caves we have visited during our adventure. This will give you a fresh insight on your next destination, what to expect on arrival, places to stay, things to do and how to find those all important provisions from propane to bananas. So let's start with this week's location, Barbados. Yeah, stunning, love Barbados. Yeah. In fact, uh, Carla and I got married in Barbados. Yes. Yeah. We last visited uh, in early 2019, having uh, crossed the Atlantic. Yes, yeah. it was landfall. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So location, Barbados is located about 2,600 nautical miles southwest of Las Palmas on the run line, about 2,000 nautical miles from Mindelo in Cape Verde, 100 nautical miles east of San Lucia. Yeah, and it's um, really the very first island that you can go to uh, when you finish your uh, Atlantic crossing, whether you go from uh, the Canary Islands direct or you go via Cape Verde. Yeah. And that's why it's so popular. It's your first experience of being in the Caribbean. Caribbean. <laughs> Even though it isn't really <laughs> in the, the Caribbean. Caribbean. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> it's not really in the Caribbean. No, but, because yeah. it's actually an Atlantic island it and is. not really a Caribbean yeah. island, isn't yeah. it? Yes. It covers an area of 167 square miles and is home to 288,000 people. Yeah, it's quite a lot of people live there actually. Uh, the language is English. Uh, Barbados is an independent country within the British Commonwealth and the Queen is the head of state. The courtesy flag is the Bayesian national flag, the blue and the yellow flag. The weather. The weather is typically Caribbean. Uh, it's not quite inside the hurricane zone, it's right on the edge and they rarely do get hurricanes there. Okay, let's have some interesting facts about, about Barbados. Barbados. So the green monkey is a common sight on the island. Locals believe that green monkey came from Senegal and Gambia in West Africa 350 years ago. Yep. Uh, it's said by others, not by us, that grapefruit was discovered at Welchman Hall Gully in the 18th century on the islands. Its existence was due to cross-pollination that occurred naturally between shadok and a sweet orange fruit. That's quite interesting, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. I think that's an interesting fact. So Barbados is the place where rum is originated. Yep. Mount Gay is the most famous one there. Absolutely, it? Mount Gay Distilleries, mm -hmm. which was uh, churning out rum since 1703. Yeah. And of course it comes from the sugar, which is the sugar beet, which uh, uh, Barbados and a lot of the Caribbean. We were welcome in Barbados with a very big <laughs> bottle of rum. <laughs> it was quite funny actually, we just pulled in in uh, Bridgetown and uh, this guy came over to take our lines from um, a uh, party boat. Uh, next door catamaran and uh, he said where have you come from we saw we come from uh, Mindelo and he scurried back to his boat and came out with a great big you're gonna need this <laughs> uh, the English settled on the island in the 16th century prior to that it is thought to have been discovered first by the Spanish and then by the Portuguese. You oh, get well, everywhere, don't you, everywhere. you Portuguese? Yeah. We yeah. just don't hold anything. No, <laughs> no. Although there is evidence that uh, there was a settlement on the island uh, around about 1600 BC. Yes, so Bridgetown, established in 1639, the Barbados Parliament is the third oldest parliament in the Commonwealth. Yeah, it's, uh, and also the uh, parliament buildings are there and uh, is really quite um, interesting. Mm -hmm. And there's also a statue to Horatio Lord Nelson. Yes, yeah, yeah that's, right. that's right. In Trafalgar Square. Yeah. Well, it's had its name <laughs> changed now. It was Trafalgar Square, but it's now called uh, Independence Square. Uh, the currency is the Bayesian dollar, and it is 1.98 to the US dollar, which really means it's two. Yeah. Yeah, everybody just Everybody's goes two, just two, two for one. Yeah, yeah. two for one. So time zone is minus four hours to UTC. Yep, so uh, we're not quite uh, on uh, 
the same time as some parts, other parts of the Caribbean. Uh, the main city is, uh, well, the main city is Bridgetown, and uh, along the west coast, you have Spice Town and Hull Town. Hull Town was the original settlement of the island, and on the south coast, the other town is Oysters. Oysters is rather fun. It's a big fishing yes. uh, port, really. Yeah, it's really fun to go there yeah. for dinner. And yeah, because yeah, they have all these uh, barbecues that go yeah. on and street uh, food, street food yeah. yeah. And uh, you go there and you get the local catch and all that sort of thing. And uh, it really is quite a yeah. big thing. There's it's amazing. Music and beer and yeah. all sorts of things. It's yeah. fun. Uh, navigation. Uh, when you approach Barbados from the east, assuming that you're coming across the Atlantic, because most people don't go to Wynwood to go to Barbados from the Wynwood Islands, uh, the first thing you'll come across is Ragged Point Lighthouse, which has a range of 20 miles. Barbados is actually a very flat island. It's got like three terraces of coral, because it's actually a coral island. And uh, it, But when you actually look at it from afar, it actually looks terribly, terribly flat, like a billiard table. Yeah. So you should contact Barbados Port Control on VHF uh, Channel 16. Yes, because they're going to tell you where to go and what to do. Uh, the other option is you round the north point of the island and you head towards uh, Port St. Charles. Port St. Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Voyage is Region B, so the green square top buoys will be on the left hand side as you enter from the ocean. But the reality is there's very little voyage there. I can't actually remember seeing any, mm. um, so uh, it, maybe it won't really apply. So checking in. Checking in in Port St. Charles on the north of the west coast or the main deep water port. Yep, the main deep water port, the main which, cruise terminal is what we do. We went, yeah. But even though you have to uh, go there and check in, uh, in the actual terminal building, uh, you could actually just go to Carlisle Bay or go into Bridgetown, and walk. drop the boat and walk, walk yeah. uh, and it would actually be much easier, easier. than taking your boat yeah, round yeah. there. Because and it's quite square, sc sc scary because you have uh, big cruise ships yeah, going yeah, there, yeah. More so you are so the small just yeah. more in there. Yeah. Yeah. The other option for checking in is to go to Port St Charles, but I've got a feeling from talking to a few people that you can't actually go into the marina because it's all for private uh, yachts. Um, but you have to anchor out, but apparently, uh, yep, there's no reason why you can't check in there as well. Mm -hmm. Healthcare. Mm. Um, it is really quite good healthcare and really quite economical. It's not overly expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, my son was rather uh, poorly when he was over there. He had a bit of food poisoning and had to go on a drip for a couple of hours. And uh, it was around about 200 US dollars mm -hmm. uh, for the drip. So it wasn't too bad, really. Yeah, so... uh, dingy docks. So Dinky Docks is Bridgetown or yeah. beach or just go to the beach. Go to the beach, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you're anchored off Carlisle Bay, uh, you could just uh, uh, go ashore, basically. Dump, yeah. your, dump your rib on the beach, huge beach, beautiful beach. Mm -hmm. It's quite or, safe, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's quite yeah. safe. Or you could nip around a little headland and uh, go into uh, Bridgetown and drop it off there. Um, marinas, there isn't really a marina on the island. Uh, as I said, Port St. Charles is um, kind of private. Uh, but there is an area called the Canage in um, the centre of Bridgetown, which you go through a bridge, which is the bridge. Or they will Bridgetown. open the bridge. They'll open the bridge only in the morning and yeah. you have to get in contact with the lady uh, to open the bridge. And uh, you can go in there and there's about 40 berths for sort of 45 foot yachts with a mooring board at the front and you go stern to with a power and electricity. And then we, you are in the middle of the right town. You're right in the middle of the town, yeah. yeah. And you've got the supermarket just over yeah. the road and all the shops and everything yeah. else. Yeah. But we didn't actually go in that far because we turned up on a weekend and it wasn't yeah. open. It wasn't open no. and they, they, they don't work uh, over the weekends. No. So we just... Uh, we, we, we just moored up on the, the, the uh, waterfront yeah. on the quay on the yeah. way in. Yeah. And, uh, and we were fine. Yeah, we were fine. We found water there and a little bit of electricity. Yeah, so and uh, we okay. they didn't charge us. Nobody yeah. charged us anything. Yeah. Nobody even noticed we were there really, did they? So the main uh, anchorage is Carlisle Bay, which is a huge uh, semicircular bay uh, just around the corner from Bridgetown. Um, apparently it can get a little bit uh, rolly in there uh, from time to time, but uh, if you've just But it's a beautiful there, bay and th that's where you can see the turtles, yes, the, where the turtles. The boat trips take you to see yeah. the turtles. Yeah, so and also there's, a, a, there's some wrecks there, wrecks, yeah. uh, yes. so you can go snorkeling yeah. and you can see all the fish and things. So it really is a beautiful spot, um, uh, really. Mm -hmm. when you've just arrived in the Caribbean. Yes. No complaint about that. You can also uh, anchor off uh, Port St. Charles, as we said, but you can't actually anchor off the west coast of Barbados without a permit, and I think it's really quite difficult to get a permit, to be honest. 
Yeah. So propane is available at Seoul Barbados, just north of the main harbour, and at Ruby's... Um, Ruby's, which is close by yeah, to there. Yeah. Yeah. So you can take your cylinders along and get them uh, refilled. Mm -hmm. uh, buses and trains. Well, there's no trains. No trains. No, no. <laughs> the national bus service is okay. Is Very it? good. Yeah. Uh, nice big blue and yellow buses, yeah. and they yeah. go all over the island yeah. and relatively cheap. Or you could take the cheaper uh, route taxi, which is like a kind of minibus, which has around about 10 seats in it. Yeah, it's like a van, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's like a little minivan, really. Yeah. And you all park. And it's just a dollar or two dollars? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they've got a certain route they do, and they just plow up and down this route all day. I call them boogie buses, because they normally have sort of music so loud, the whole... Yeah. If you want to be van. into the culture of the places, yeah. just get one of those. Yeah. It's amazing. They have them in uh, Grenada Grenada, as well, yeah, yeah. Grenada's yeah. amazing, mm. yeah. Really nice. Uh, supermarkets. Supermarkets, you have a Saving Plus supermarket, and cost you less. None of them is going to cost you less. No. <laughs> <laughs> because the food is very expensive it's very in Barbados, expensive. really, yeah. really expensive. The best choice would be for fruits and vegetables to get on the street markets, and they will be a bit cheaper because it's uh, more local fruit. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, otherwise you're going to spend a lot of money in the yeah. supermarket. Uh, Chandri, so just uh, inside the actual deep water harbour, there's another sort of like fishing harbour, and in there, uh, there's a place called the Dock Shop. I haven't actually been in there myself, but uh, apparently it's a Chandri. I've looked it up on the internet. And also, there's another place just a little away into town called Marine Power Solutions. And obviously, it sounds like they sell airborne motors, ribs, and that sort of thing, but they also have some Chandri. So, I'm not saying you could get anything you want, but you may well get a few things. A uh, hardware store, uh, Messy. Massey is uh, the main hardware store in town and uh, just opposite as well there's another little hardware store so all those sort of things you should be able to get quite easily. Sale maker. You have Doyle operates 30,000 square foot sale loft with a staff of over 50 people. Yeah it's located in the centre of the island absolutely nowhere near Bridgetown whatsoever but um, they do all, all you know things to do with sales, canvas work etc and I'm sure they'll be very happy to help you out. Uh, there is a small boatyard uh, called Willis Diving and Marine Services. Uh, this is in the fishing harbour area inside the deep water uh, harbour. And they have a travel lift which will take something up to 7.5 metres wide. But uh, there's no way you're going to get your cat, cat in that. that. No, no. No. So your only option if you've got a problem with a cat is you'll have to get it uh, beached in Carlisle Bay. Yeah, probably. Yeah, which is really the only option. Yeah. Destination Sailing Channel is sponsored by Seawater Pro. If you are buying a water maker, follow the link below and receive an additional set of filters. If you speak with Mike at Seawater Pro, don't forget to mention Destination Sailing Channel. Check out our video where we installed our Seawater Pro water maker. So what to see in Barbados? Uh, you have fantastic beach and beautiful water. Uh, the beaches are absolutely stunning. Yeah. Um, they're very deep. Uh, beautiful pink coral beaches and uh, beautiful clear waters. I mean, yeah. it is really uh, If you do paradise. the walks around the island on the beach, just on the beach, it's just amazing. They have uh, little swimming pools around the corals. Mm. It's yeah. beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely stunning. We love to do that. Um, unfortunately for us, uh, we weren't into diving at the time. No, but, so we didn't uh, dive. The diving is supposed to be spectacular there as well. Yeah. And so is surfing. It's getting very popular with the surfing community on the uh, sort of south tip of the island and uh, on the west coast because you've got those huge uh, Atlantic rollers that have been coming for over 2,000 miles uh, crashing into that side of the island so the surfing is supposed to be getting very good. Mm. Concord exhibition? Yep, uh, they have a Concord there um, if you wish to go, if you're a bit of an aviation nut like me <laughs> and uh, uh, they, you could go there and actually go on board and have a look around so Sam Lord Castle? Yeah, Sam Lord was a pirate and uh, on the uh, east coast of the island he used to put uh, lanterns uh, on the cliff face and then as the ships approached at night they would think that uh, that was Bridgetown and they would carry on and go into the reefs and then he would obviously uh, steal everything. Uh, but it, 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 there's a very interesting hotels now which is his uh, castle to go and look at. That's actually really quite interesting. And the garrison at Savannah? Yes, there's, uh, there was quite a sort of garrison in Barbados and um, quite a, a few a long time ago uh, 
there was a bit of an uprising in the north and it took an awful long time to get the message down to the south to get the garrison to come out and sort the issue out. So they actually built a set of uh, watchtowers up the island, I think there's three of them, and from each tower you can see the next one and the previous one and uh, kind of like every half an hour they would look through a telescope built into the wall to see whether they could uh, see what flag was up and then they would know whether there was an issue with the locals. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hello, it's all rather interesting actually. Yeah, it's actually it is, very yeah. nice to yeah, go and see. Yeah. Yeah. They are really into cricket, aren't they? Oh, they're really into yeah. cricket. Uh, the Everywhere West you Indies, go, they're yeah. listening, yeah. Yes, watching, yeah. isn't it? Absolutely, yes. and yeah. they've got the cricket ground there, and if you get the opportunity to go, I'd imagine it's a fantastic day. Yeah, another big thing is Harrison's Cave. Yes, it was uh, discovered uh, by a gentleman called Harrison, and uh, this thing is about the size of a cathedral. It's absolutely huge, isn't mm -hmm. it? And very, very deep, very, very high. And uh, they, they put you on a little train and take you in, and then they give you an explanation about it all. But it's actually really very interesting. Yeah, that's a nice thing to go and see. Yeah. Uh, horse racing is another thing. Uh, Barbados is quite big. Uh, the main events take place in February and early March. So, connections. So, Bridge, Bridgetown Airport International Flights. Yep, Bridgetown uh, is the main airport, and you can get flights from there uh, from Europe and from America, and an awful lot of uh, connecting flights to all the smaller Small, islands. Yeah. For example, if you wanted to go to Beckway in the Grenadines, you could get a flight from Barbados. So, it's a real sort of jumping in and out point. Yeah, which is really good. So thank you for listening to our channel. Just a reminder that you can see our adventure on YouTube at Sailing Ocean Fox. Yes, they are episodes 46 and 47. I will put the link in the description below. Destination Sailing Channel is supported by Seawater Pro. If you are buying a water maker, look up the link below and receive an additional set of filters with your purchase. You would also be helping us to produce these free podcasts and videos. You can listen the Destination Sailing Channel has a podcast. Just search for the channel on your preferred podcast platform. Next week we'll be off to the island of Bonaire. Oh, didn't we love Bonaire? Bonaire is absolutely one not to be missed if you're going to the Caribbean. Yeah. Everything about it is absolutely fantastic. It's down in the ABC Islands, uh, just off the coast of Venezuela. Perfectly safe. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Beautiful. This is Simon and Carla from Sailing Ocean Fox on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and all the major podcast platforms. Until next week, fair winds, wherever you are sailing. Bye. Bye.